Hello everyone, this is Amul Balmal. Welcome to the CS4 CPQ training program. So today's topic related to uh, validation rule with help of a product rule actually. So how using product rule you can define a, a validation rule in CS4 CPQ. So let me take one of the example here. So in this particular example, let me show you. Uh, uh, we do have a one requirement uh, saying that if the laser printer quantity uh, if I choose a laser printer actually and I have put it a quantity of two so their uh, cartridge quantity should be a similar or should be a same to the uh, printer quantity actually so there is no SS like a big uh, quantity differentiation should be there so whenever any sales rep is uh, uh, choosing a laser printer and if they are putting a quantity of two so their to uh, toner or cartridge uh, quantity should be also a two actually. So how this particular scenario or requirement we can uh, fulfill fulfill with, with help of uh, a sales for CPQ validation rule and uh, using a product rule actually. So product rule has a wide variety of uses. Uh, product rule with help of product rule you can uh, put a validation rule. You can uh, put a selection also selection means you can either so or hide based on your criteria as well as it will also help us in filtering the uh, product as well as it also helps us in uh, <coughs> help us in uh, alert messages also so alert message and validation rule are totally a, a, a difference here so validation rule will not allow user to proceed further to save those quote line uh, information on a quote level but again a alert message is just to a prompt message or just to a like warning message or informative message to a sales rep in order to proceed further with the uh, a quote line editor page actually so in alert message they would be able to uh, proceed further but in validation rule they won't be able to proceed further to save the quote record so this is the example that I took I would like to uh, quickly uh, go ahead how we can uh, how we can achieve this with help with help of like a CS4 CPQ program so let me tell you the first step in this particular step we'll have to define a printer quantity because my first criteria is to uh, we have to calculate the printer quantity if the printer quantity does not matches with the toner quantity so my second a uh, summary variable will look like the toner to uh, toner quantity so if the to toner quantity i choose a target object called product options and the product code called a uh, toner co uh, cortex and i am calculating the sum of all the quantity which is available on the code <clears throat> so similarly we'll have to also uh, create a printer quantity summary variable in this i have chosen a product code called laser printer and uh, sum of all these quantities so i am calculating the laser printer quantity as well as the a toner quantity with help of summary variable so let me <coughs> go to the sales for cpq how <coughs> we can quickly go and uh, define the summary variable in a sales force there is a separate tab name called summary variable in this summary variable tab i have already predefined this summary variable actually so here you can go ahead and start click on new button and then put a variable name called toner quantity <coughs> as well as choose the product uh, target object called product option then field could be like a foot code and whatever the uh, toner cartridge or a uh, laser printer you have you like to count in your product option a bundle just put all this like a criteria and aggregate function should be a sum aggregated should uh, field should be a quantity operator here should be a, a equals and put a validation name so your uh, printer quantity vari uh, summary variable will look like to similar to this one as well as the your toner quantity uh, summary variable will look like to this one so once you have done with this summary variable now my second step will be <coughs> to create a product rule on the <coughs> IT professional pack so let me show you how my IT professional pack a bundle will look like actually so in this like a demo i have already uh, configured this it professional pack uh, as a product in this product i have a option product also so 
options and features uh, this is the example that i previously in my uh, session you can go and see what are the uh, product and option that i have uh, created so far <clears throat> let me uh, give you a total background of this it professional pack uh, product what are the options are available or associated with this it professional pack so in this it professional pack here you see i have a laser printer so this belongs to a computer features I have uh, defined as a uh, option as a type of component. I choose the minimum quantity to one and 99 quantity to maximum. And similarly, I do have uh, a toner cartridge also, which belongs to a feature of printing and then type is component. So these two options that I have created for RT professional pack, which is nothing, but it's a bundle product altogether. So similarly, you can go ahead and start creating this product, start adding this product as an option product under this IT professional pack. Now, <clears throat> once you have ready with your products and all, now uh, this is the time to uh, create a product rule to fulfill those a validation rule which I have to achieve. So I am jumping onto the validation rule. Uh, uh, whenever uh, go to the product rule tab start creating a new tab and then put a product rule name called toner quantity greater or equal to printer quantity and then types to you have to choose a validation and then a condition should be a um, uh, made to all your scope should be a product and evaluation should be an always a message would look like to toner quantity must be a greater than or equal to a a printer quantity <clears throat> so once you have defined this uh, a product rule uh, the second step will be our error condition in this error condition how i have defined this error condition let me open this one so i have put it index is one and then uh, <clears throat> in this tested variable actually so this tested variable are nothing but it's again a lookup to the summary variable that we have already created in our previous uh, 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 PPT slide choose the toner quantity in this toner quantity if the toner quantity not equal to a variable a filter type will be a variable not value so choose the variable type and then a toner quantity if not equal to the printer quantity I choose a filter variable so the filter variable again I look up to our summary variable just save this uh, error condition on your product rule now once you are done with this product rule and their condition we'll have to associate with uh, to our uh, uh, it professional uh, bundle now so now click on a new configuration rule and just uh, pick your uh, just make it active pick your uh, <coughs> a product rule uh, product name called it professional here just search for the it professional pack and just save it actually so once the moment you have saved it, uh, this configuration will look like to this one now. So now the IT professional pack has a, a one a product rule associated. Let me show you down to this uh, page. This must show the product rule also. Price rule. Maybe you will have to enable the uh, product rule related list also so that it can start displaying. But again, uh, guys, my uh, our requirement was to uh, uh, create this validation rule with help of a product rule and uh, error conditions. Once you are done with this, uh, please make sure you have already activated this rule as well as please make sure the error condition or sorry, uh, the configuration rule that you have added for this uh, product rule, it must be active. If it is not active, that particular validation will not be uh, appear. Uh, or will not be helpful uh, for the sales rep actually so let me quickly give you a demo <clears throat> so let me cancel this out so what i did i have already created one a code here so in this code <coughs> sample code i am going to click on a edit line once you click on a edit line now my next uh, job is to add uh, it professional pack as a bundle product in our sales force so i'm going to add my it professional pack uh, as a bundle in our uh, a quote model here okay let me search for it professional pack here 
I search for the IT professional pack. I am going to select this IT professional bundle pack here. It reaches to my uh, Salesforce uh, uh, configurator. Now uh, I am going to change this uh, toner quantity or laser printer quantity to two and just uh, hit save button. <clears throat> the moment you will change it actually the con toner quantity, this will uh, hit a uh, validation role. Uh, the the one that we have already configured it is saying that toner quantity must be greater or equal to the printer quantity now so i haven't put it a printer quantity so this printer quantity should be similar to our uh, for the, uh, to, uh, laser uh, toner quantity should be print, uh, equal to the, our laser printer quantity so i am just uh, saving this record as i have already made this quantity as uh, similar to the printer and toner quantity So here you see I am able to save this record uh, in my uh, code label now. So this is all about like uh, how quickly you can define a, a validation role in a Salesforce CPQ with help of a product role with help of uh, summary variable and a configuration role actually. So thank you guys hope you are liking my Salesforce CPQ videos please try to subscribe please do share in your social media account in your Twitter in your LinkedIn account and please uh, 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 share this uh, uh, YouTube channel as much as uh, possible and thank you thank you very much for your support.